hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you liked this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it so the last time i heard anything about gorilla y'all she was talking about on social media i think she's on ig or something like that i think i had jumped on ig and her video just popped up and she was talking about how fat hakuta cat is okay y'all this is what she was saying i don't know if she's trying to get attention because Angela took a man from her. I don't know what's going on. Because word on the street is, you know, um, Yo Gotti took her to Pound Town. And then he went back to Angela. Or, you know, she was mad about Angela Simmons and all this stuff. Okay, y'all? So, because she was writing songs about it and everything. But anyway, I go, she been on social media talking about the reason why she don't close her pants up. Because people be saying why she don't, I guess her fans stuff be in her comment section saying, Why you ain't closing up your pants? You walk around with your pants open and this and that and this. And this is what she said. She said the reason why she don't is because the cootie cat too fat. I've never heard of this in my life, okay, y'all? But this is what she said, okay? Um, go get your your clothes tailor-made then, girl, because um, that looks disgusting with you walking around with your, your cootie cat out and your, your pants open, okay? I'm just saying, okay? Now, word on the street is last night she let a little cat out the bag, y'all, okay? that um she's the latest rapper who received plastic surgery we knew it was coming i was just wondering um when and i was gonna i was wondering is she gonna go overboard with it because a lot of these females is getting these bbls and all of this stuff it don't look right on them it looks horrible okay they looks like like they be putting up them bugs and stuff this is what they look like this it don't fit with their legs so um she did go and she just got her baby feeders done that i know of because she ain't had no fat nowhere okay she ain't have no fat nowhere no how no how no how okay so right on the street that's the only thing that she got done was the baby feeder she didn't touch anything else and she didn't you know add no baby ill now maybe she gonna do it later and the first thing came to my mind is she trying to keep up with angela simmons because angela simmons when it got her baby feeders done too so maybe she think that oh this is what he wants so let me put get me some too and maybe i could compete with angela i don't know what she called herself doing okay but um she could have just did it for herself she really could have because you know people with small baby feeders you know they go through this thing where they tired of them little ones and they want something they want to pump them up okay y'all so um i'm just saying she could have did it for herself and if that's the case you know kudos to her now i'm gonna say this she didn't go overboard with it she definitely didn't she got a nice decent size that's not that's not gonna just make it look like it's fake it looks real she didn't go overboard because sometimes when you got a small body and you get them too big, then you have back pains and all that stuff. Because I remember when Anna Nicole Smith and a lot of other people when it got theirs done, um, they had to keep going back and getting them changed because they was t popping all of these, you know, pharmacy stuff for pain. Because it, you be in pain all the time trying to hold them up, y'all. And a lot of times when you get when you get them done, you got to keep um, you have to keep a bra on all the time. Because when you just don't keep your bra on, you know, you you can you can wear you can wear it, you know, them out. But you know, when you go in the bed and all this other stuff, you have to, y'all. You have to, you know, go to sleep with your bra on and stuff so that, you know, you keep them intact. I'm just saying, y'all. Okay. So yeah, she finally went and done. I thought she was gonna go get a BBL, to be honest with y'all. I thought that the first thing that she was gonna go do is try to get a BBL because she's so tiny. But if she gained weight, she might gain it in the right places. So she might not even have to get no BBL. But I'm hoping she don't go any further than this. And I think that, you know, she got a nice size and they don't look bad on her because she got a little body frame. So I'm I'm wondering, did, did she go get this done so that she could, um you know, give your Gotti something to hold on to when he's, you know, taking her to pound town? I don't know. Okay, y'all? But um, word on the street is she let the cat out the bag last night and let everybody know that she is not a part of the itty bitty titty committee anymore. Okay, y'all. So she's happy. Everybody else is happy. She's talking about she don't got no boyfriend. So I guess she's looking for one. I don't know. Okay, but this is what she keep bringing up that she don't have a man and blah, 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 blah. But 
you know, I'm just happy that she didn't get something that looks outrageous. Because if you look at, you know, um, I'm just saying, look him. Y'all, look him looks ridiculous. Y'all remember how tiny look him was? She was kind of the size of, you know, um, Glorilla. She was kind of tiny like her. But little Kim was so cute. She was so cute to me. If little Kim would have got just a little something done and just, you know, not blew herself up to the way she did, she wouldn't look as bad. Now, little Kim looked horrible. And a lot of people don't just want to say nothing about a lot of these people that's having these surgeries. But they look, they look bad. And a lot of them just stay in. It's a lot of, I don't know if y'all been watching IG and stuff like that. But there's so many girls that's going to get these surgeries done. And it seems like when they get these surgery done, they take some screws out their head. Because they actually come out these surgeries and think that the, it looks better. Some of them. They think they is out here stunting on people. And they looking like a fool. To the 25th power, y'all. They, they, they back end does not match, you know, with the rest of their body. Their legs are skinny. Their hips do not, you know, coincide with it. And it does not look right. So that's just hope and pray, y'all. That she does not go any further than what she just did. It does compliment her. If you look at her now um, and look at her before, she looked like, that looked like a child breast. I'm just saying, look like a little kid over there to the left. It does. But when she just went and just got a little something, something, it looks better. It does. It does look better. But I'm going to just say this, you know, please don't go get no more done. Because you really don't need it, okay? Just, if you want to gain some weight, gain a little weight. And most likely, it'll go where you want it to go if you exercise with it. But other than that, please don't go get nothing else done. Because you don't need it, Glorilla. You don't, okay? Please. I know a lot of people be talking about her. People be talking about her nose, all this stuff. Please do not get, you know, um, hooked on running back and forth, laying on that table, and getting more stuff done. Because a lot of people that got it done, they really did not need all the stuff that they got done. I'm just saying. What do y'all think about little Kim right now? <clears throat> do y'all think that if little Kim would have got a little bitty little something done, she would still look... <coughs> excuse me, y'all. I'm still trying to get over a cold. Okay, y'all? That's my, why my voice is still going in and out. But I feel so much better. Okay, y'all? So I'm just letting y'all know that's why my voice is going in and out. But do y'all think that little Kim shouldn't have even got all of that stuff put in her? Because she didn't get fat transfer. That I know of. Because she was never fat. Look, Kim was never fat. So, where did that? what did they put in her to pump her up like that? And y'all remember K. Michelle. She had to go get all of that stuff taken back out of her. Because it wasn't fat transfer. Because fat transfer do not look like the way Lil' Kim has blown up. She looked like a little balloon. Like, they just, just pumped her up with a whole bunch of stuff. That, after a while, your body starts rejecting. And ask, ask K. Michelle. Because her body started rejecting all that stuff and she had to get all that stuff taken right back out. And her body is messed up now. They're saying that, you know, when, if you if she don't have her clothes on, her body looks horrible from all of them having to go in. And they had she had to go take several surgeries to take stuff back out, take stuff back out. So, y'all, the uh, only thing I can say, try to do some squats and stuff like that and pump it up. And leave all this other stuff alone, okay? Other than this little bit she got done, you know, kudos to her. She's not a part of the committee anymore. And, you know, she feels better about herself. You can tell. And I think that um, when she was performing, I'm just saying, y'all, when you're in the industry, you got a whole a certain image and stuff like that, even though there are quite a few people that leave their body alone and they just fine. But it's an inner thing, and I think she didn't do it for everybody else. I really, truly believe that Glorilla wouldn't have got it done for her own self. And that's the best thing to do it for. Not for somebody else, not trying to keep up with everybody else who's doing, but something that you want it done on your own. Okay, y'all? But anyway, y'all, just letting y'all know what's going on in Glorilla's world. Okay? Now, hopefully her and your Gotti and all of them and Angela will be happy with them. Okay? Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.